the issue when it comes to active surveillance, it's not that much an issue today uh, that to do active surveillance on the low risk patients and the, the grade group one. But the grade group two is still uh, a bit of controversial. Um, and the discussion was about uh, very much about um, uh, which patient, what are the risks of these patients um, um, that you have to take into account both the, the tumor and the risk of that one, of course, but also which patient has the tumor uh, and the, the overall survival of that patient um, and uh, basically guide the, the help guiding the patients because cancer always sounds bad. It sounds bad to to the patient, of course, and it does sound bad to, to us as physicians. But uh, if you actually look, go down and look at the the, the risks that you are you're dealing with when it comes to prostate cancer, especially uh, intermediate risk of the of the lower risk uh, of the intermediate risk group, uh, then it's uh, usually uh, the 15 years survival of, of those patients may be well, uh, five, ten percent risk of, of dying from prostate cancer, and you have to weigh that against the, the risks of the. Of dying for something else and also for the side effects that the treatment would have um so the i think that the cases uh, were highlighting that quite a lot which i thought was good because it's a it's a discussion that we need to have with the patients 